Kobe City is the capital of Hyogo Prefecture and is one of Japan's 10 largest cities. It is located between the sea and the Roko mountain range. Kobe is also considered one of Japan's most attractive cities. While it is next to popular tourist destinations such as Osaka, Kyoto, and Nara, there is not much known yet about Kobe City aside from the Kobe beef. For me, this city is still an underrated gem. In one of our previous videos, I have shown you an itinerary for the city center of Kobe. Now this video is for those of you who just wants to unwind, chill, and experience the nature and laid-back life of Kobe City. The first in our itinerary is the Nunubiki Herb Garden and Ropeway. It is known as Japan's largest herb gardens with around 75,000 herbs and flowers and about 200 kinds of blooming flowers throughout the year. So you can enjoy this itinerary whatever the season is. To get to this place, we use the Kansai Through Pass. This is a very useful pass when traveling throughout the Kansai region. Nunobigi is just a few minutes walk from Shin Kobe Station from the Seishin Yamate Line. So using this pass will be very useful. Nunobiki opens at 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and it's best to arrive by the opening time, so 10 a.m. So you can explore this garden with ample amount of time and you don't have to rush because, well, this is a beautiful place and we want to be laid back. My next tip is for you to purchase your ticket in advance at Kluk. Admission plus round trip ticket is around 1,800 yen, but if you purchase from Kluk, they have a 400 yen discount. To get to the garden areas, you will take the ropeway, so if you have fear of heights, please be careful because this is a long, long way and <laughs> a bit scary. Next tip, do not forget to bring your maps with you so that you can explore this garden area efficiently. They have a cafe and a restaurant right here so you don't have to be scared of getting hungry or thirsty. And it's just a beautiful area. It's very peaceful. They also have a cabana wherein you can rest. They also have the amazing glass house full of wonderful flowers. You guys will definitely enjoy this area and especially the Nunobiki Falls right here. If you feel like eating with a view, they have a restaurant terrace in the middle part of the ropeway so you can stop in between before reaching the end of the line. At that time, we weren't hungry yet so we didn't went but it looked beautiful so you guys should check it out. It took us around 2 hours before we finished and after that we went out to have lunch. We went to Kensho Maya Station or Motomachi Station and from there you guys can find a very wonderful restaurant called Matsunoya Katsu. So this restaurant is so amazing guys. They serve great katsu with nice serving portions and the best part is they have a promotion going on and they have a 500 yen complete katsu set meal. Yes, you've seen it right. Now, if you're a coffee fan, just a side tip, go to Blue Bottle Coffee, just walking distance from the Katsu restaurant. It's really an amazing place. It's aesthetic and their coffee is super amazing. For our next destination, go back to Kenshomaya Station and go to Tanigami Station. And from here, you will just transfer a train line going to Arima Onsen Station. Arima Onsen is one of Kobe City's pride. It is definitely a must in your itinerary to visit this place. It is Japan's oldest hot spring town and you can go here, unwind and just relax and bathe yourself. Now, if you're looking for a cheap but well worth it hot spring experience, go to Kinnoyu or Ginnoyu Hot Spring. It is both very popular, it's a modern hot spring resort with public bathing and carbonated and radium enriched warm waters. So the difference is Kinnoyu is with yellow water and Ginnoyu is with silver water. For today, we just decided to go to Ginnoyu or the silver water. So we arrived here, as you can see, it's raining. You get to lock your umbrellas and then go inside, take off your shoes and put them in the locker. And then you can purchase your tickets. Now you have the option actually to get the two tickets for Kinnoyu and Ginnoyu already. Here's the price list for your reference. Another tip is for you guys to bring your own bath towel because you will pay 500 yen if you don't. So just to save money, bring your own. Now of course we're not allowed to film inside but it was a good indoor bath. They have a sauna as well. 
Um, it's not that big, but it, there wasn't many people there, so it was great. After taking a bath, um, it's a nice way to get an onsen milk. A great cold milk will be just super refreshing after an onsen bath. Oh yeah, if you haven't tried Japanese onsen yet, be warned, it's really hot. But trust the process and don't be surprised that nobody is wearing anything inside. As in nothing. So just act normal. So basically that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that itinerary and I hope you try everything within this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please enjoy Kobe City. Bye!